Hello. I bet you clicked on it because this was an interesting title, huh? I actually don't know much about the older controversies on YouTube. And uh, I asked some people I know if I could find any information about previous controversies on YouTube. And I got sent two links to two different articles. And we're going to make a video and article going over what happened and my thoughts on the two videos. Uh, also, if you're watching this, I want to thank you all for sticking with me while I'm on vacation. Uh, since this goes live while I'm on vacation. I really appreciate. Additionally, before I start, please subscribe. Okay, I would really appreciate it. All the subscribing really helps me keep motivated and makes me want to make videos every day. Uh, I do the news every morning, and these are special for my vacation. Now, let's start. All the YouTube controversies of 2019. Now, this this one's just over 2019. The, the next video is going to be of all time, but uh, there was so much in 2019 that I, I didn't even realize. <laughs> Apparently, it was one of the, the worst. Uh, so, let's go over. Rice, Gum, and Jake Pro promote a shady unboxing business for video games to their young fans. Starting big this time. Okay, hell, uh, Jake Paul, come on, stop ruining Ohio for people. Well, uh, a little about, yeah, gambling style loot boxes, purchase price points between a few dollars and 300 roughly. Yeah condemned him for this and they apologized it's a scam they were promoting a scam uh whatever that whatever happened to them it was probably deserved <laughs> them apologizing i don't have much to say about this controversy i uh, you know they like money and they do whatever it takes to get money right uh no I don't sub condone or support it, but money. <laughs> oh. How to get AirPods for $4? Oh, come on, dude. The Ace Family Austin McBroom received backlash for buying a young girl a phallic-shaped lollipop. On January 7th, the Ace Family, uh, I don't know who this is, received backlash for a video uploaded to his Snapchat and appeared to show him buying a young girl phallic shaped oh geez a you can't do that you can't be you can't be doing that dude no matter how funny you think it is that's just not right all right he didn't buy the girl the lollipop she would steal it he was yet to address the video 60 million subscriber bills Wait, and builds itself as a family-friendly vlogging channel. The child in the video is two years old. Daughter, it was an look. I think it was an honest mistake here. I don't think he meant to do it. At least just by reading the little bit on this article. But no, don't don't do that. <laughs> Defy Media collapsed. Matthew Patrick accused of taking 1.7 million from his network and YouTubers. Okay, uh, I do like. Uh, Matt Pat, 50 channels including Smosh, Property, Video Game, Commentary, Game Theory, okay. Matt uploaded a video detailing his claim, owed at least 1.7 million to 50 creators, okay. The video received 6 million, okay. Almost a month, February 6th, Patrick uploaded another video about the situation claiming that the ally, the bank that seized the 5 million, expressed inability to deliver the ad, okay. Uh, involve parties failure to live the ad earnings I guess they never got the money Trisha P Pattis Pat Pat Pattis occurred her boyfriend Jason and Nash in collaborator David Dobrik of fat shaming and bullying her that is uh, something you don't do okay but you you just you don't fat shame people in general. Uh I know I called Lizzo a fat pig a couple of times, but 
you know, she fat shames people herself. So what do you do about fat people that fat shame you? You call them fat. That, that's how I get around it. <laughs> you know, someone calls me fat. I said, look in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, uh, now a deleted video that's been re-uploaded by other channels. Trisha Penn engaged in one of her famous meltdowns. Yep. Uh, I've seen her on H3H3, I think. Uh, Jason Nash, February 3rd, making disgusting jokes about then-couple having a threesome with a 20-year-old Tina Mungu. She is criticized. Okay. Um. Eh? So? This controversy, I don't, I don't think, holds any weight. High-profile channels complain that YouTube's copyright claim system is used to abuse, uh, Creators, this is still happening. This video has been in, uh, overly uh, successful to manipulation over the years. The cop I don't want to get into the copyright system. I'm going to skip this because I, I don't want anything to happen to my channel. But basically, uh, copyright's still really sucky on YouTube. And videos get demonetized all the time. Austin Jones, a YouTuber used to plead guilty of producing child... <sighs> Really? Okay. 26-year-old YouTuber Austin Jones courts six underage fans of sending him illicit videos of themselves. Best known for his singing covers on YouTube. Prove that they were their biggest fan. He asked to talk about their age in the videos. What's wrong with you? Are you mentally ill in the head? Who's Austin Jones? He got deleted. He got canceled. He's dead now. He's he's rotten in prison. I hope he's rotten in prison, dude. <laughs> well, how disgusting, dude. I would rather... Dude, how sick in the head do you have to be to like children? Like, I would rather see like so, a murderer than a pedophile. Pedophile is... Uh, I don't want to go into this, but uh, uh, little little disclaimers... My cousins had a uh, situation. They're, 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 they were younger, and um, they're, they were adopted because they were in the system. And I, I don't want to go over to what happened, but basically, let's just say that this is no good, okay? This is real bad, and I don't condone this in any way. Just, if you, just kill yourself, dude. I don't promote suicide but if you have a problem this sick just just end it for the, your own sake and the people around you Chuck E. Cheese responded to Shane Dawson's vile recycled pizza conspiracy theory um Chuck E. Cheese is super gross I don't really think uh restaurant arcade chain decided its own pizza with onion slices from customers plates Ew. I don't, I don't think it's unequivocally false. Yeah, obviously it's false, but at the same time St. Dawson's, you know, a creepo in himself, I think. That's what I've been told. Um I don't watch any of his videos, but Chuck E. Cheese is gross anyway, so I don't care. After vlogger on earth evidence of children being sexualized. What is this? Why? What? Dude, people are messed up in this world. <sighs> get some help, dude. People need to get some help. Matt Watterson uploaded a bombshell video. The YouTube scrambling address accusations platform harboring soft core. Okay. Uh, I can't say that that really in the ring. Uh, videos, YouTube... Children being monetized 2019. It's over 3 million views. Started a ripple effect. Okay. Watson occurs YouTube's recommended video algorithm repeatedly directs you towards videos of children that while in conscious in the content had comment sections full of users. Especially. Dude. Uh, most notably, Daniel Kimmel star who runs popular drama channel Drama Alert objected to Watson's claim pointing out that he himself has posts misogynistic videos he where he cat called him rather than uh, they, like Nestle and Disney temporarily pulled ads from the channel I, 
Eh. Um, not good, but just not good. I I don't want. I don't know what to say about that. Really. I hope YouTube fixed it, so that doesn't happen. If that really did happen like that. Okay. After Chris Church, uh, well, uh, name drop PewDiePie on Reddit. Uh, yeah, PewDiePie. What called him a sick in the head? Templary set to private. Uh, he was sickened by the mention of regarding the fatal shoot. Um, left fifty-one dead and boiled in the controversy. Honestly, look, look. I have to say. When you're the most subscribed to person on YouTube, PewDiePie, um, this is this. I, I'm not surprised this happened. Uh, no, it's not cool, obviously. Um, and no, but am I surprised that this happened? Not in the slightest. I'm, su you know. I'm surprised he murdered 51 people. He's messed up in the head. I'm just not surprised he called PewDiePie. It was going to happen eventually. Someone was going to make a horrible comment while doing something with PewDiePie's name. Lori Long's daughter, Olivia Jade, was dropped from her Sephora contract and ceased video performance after college entrance scandal broke out. What happened? Uh, did, 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 uh, unforgettable evening in Beverly. A husband charged along nearly 50 other people. Wait. Scheme which wealthy parents bribe college coaches and other insiders to get their children to the most elite schools. Okay, listen. Listen. Um, Jay took an indefinite break from social media. YouTuber Instagram had almost 2 million subscribers before the incident and gained over, has since gained over a million, but her highlighted corporation sphere has severed. I know this seems controversial, but this happens all the time. I, I'm not even surprised about this either. This is just something that happens, okay? People pay to get into schools, right? Uh, yeah, it sucks. I had, I had no money going into my school, right? Uh, when I went to university, I had to get, uh, what do you call them, scholarships and stuff. Am I surprised that a rich person with a lot of money bribed a school for their daughter to get in? No. Is it wrong? Yes. But not really controversial. Tattoo artist YouTuber Romeo Lacoste was exposed of sexting underage girls. You know, out of any, every single bad thing you could possibly do in this world... The mere mention of underage human beings and you being attracted to them is the worst thing on this planet. I have no remorse for you. If I could, I would just, mm, mm, you know, No, there is no excuse. Go see a therapist, a psychiatrist, okay? Get some help, all right? The amount of pain that you could inflict on a child is immeasurable at best and permanent at worst. Girl was young as 15. Oh, wait, 15? Look, that's still bad. Don't condone it. Really, really bad. But it's not like she was like six. <laughs> not a laughing matter. It's really bad. Okay? Really, really bad. But I just thought she was younger. This is still terrible. But it's not like she was six. Still terrible, though. Really bad. 
Shane Dawson received made waves after tweeting that he never had sex with his cat. Dude, who's... Dude, Shane Dawson, I've heard just a few times in my life. I've never watched one of his videos. Uh, is he a terrible person or something? What's wrong with him? Is there something wrong with him? Is there something wrong with his, like, body and his mind? Because... The tweet's saying, I promised myself I wasn't going to make an apology video after the last thing. I was trying to be short and honest. Spark more controversy. Do you know how, like, cats have spikes? Do you know how crazy you are? Are you insane? Like, bestiality is kind of insane, dude. Is it as bad as, as this? No. This ruins a person for life. This, this is just, just weird. It's just weird. But I guess he didn't do it. Emma Chamberlain got invited to Paris Fashion Week and got plenty of hate for it. Another had a hot, the chance to walk high profile red carpet. She appeared in Paris on behalf of the fashion, okay. Her vlog garnered plenty of plays from her fans. Eight, wait, the 18-year-old received a lot of hate online. Wait, why? Apart from Chamberlain's usual detractors, plenty of commenters took issue that the fact she was invited over YouTubers who specialize in fashion, especially since Chamberlain emphasized her laid-back, retireable. This is stupid. Uh, I don't know who she is. There's no picture here. Uh, I Good for her. She got invited to the Paris fashion show. I don't care that other... Um, people might have deserved it more. She's the one that got it. That's too bad. Fifteen-year-old former musician, musical star Daniel Cohen faked a wedding and pregnancy. Now, why would you do that? Why? Why would you go and um do that? We're gonna uh, refresh the page. We're gonna refresh the page here so we can get um some pictures if they will show up nope there's no pictures there's no pictures okay that, that's fine um 15 year old former musician turned youtuber dana okay raised plenty of eyebrows when her wedding and pregnancy to her 16 year old boyfriend you get okay wait it's a 15 and a 16 year old not illegal uh, it was clickbait, so, you know, so, um, people do dumb stuff to get views. It, it's just what happens. Sorry to say that. It's just, just what happens. Tina Mongu fan, Mong, Mongu? Man, I really hope I, I'm not messing that up. Uh, got whiplash after announced her ex-boyfriend had cheated on her. She stated dating Jake Paul and had MTV reality series in the works. Do you know when she had been cheated on by her boyfriend, Brad Sosa, and that the two split up as a result? Two days later, she posted a video with her rebound as soon to be boyfriend, Jake Paul. Yeah. Go from scamming people in loot boxes to getting a girlfriend in a couple days. Uh, and what? Wait, this is April twentieth till January. A couple months. Jake Paul's on a roll. Twenty nineteen was the year for him. Longest fans had dramatics, but rapidly her breakup rebound. Okay, the first episode of which was called Tina Gets Back at Her Cheating Ex had left many wondering if the real verses are fake. Uh, with Paul having faked the relationship and engagement, and marriage in the past year. Okay, underage women were reportedly drugged at the birth party of Jake Paul through a rapper designer in the Team 10 house. Dude, Jake Paul is on a roll in 2019. Holy crap. Have you seen someone so terrible? Because I haven't. I really, I really, really haven't. How do I, I, how do I not know these? I've been on YouTube. I really just stick to like gaming YouTube, right? I watch game videos and digital foundry and stuff that's what i watch that's you know i make a lot of news and stuff and I, I build a lot of computers i look up tutorials but i never really got into these convert uh controversies so 
This is all new to me, and I'm shocked. <laughs> I really am. This is some crazy stuff. Uh, you know, 5,000. <laughs> Team 10 Mansion owns outside of Los Angeles, where his associate lives. Okay. Uh, drug Buzzfeed reported Paul apparently taking accusation very seriously. His lawyer, since that's for sure. Not, wait. So I guess for non disclosure agreement or vibing of the party, questions about actually what happened had it remained unresolved. Still, after all this time. Okay. KIS brother accused him of emotional and physical abuse in a long time standing feud. Uh. Okay, he recounts. He calls years of mental and emotional abuse from his brother. DJ claimed that passive aggressive, violent, repeated abuse from chaos was causing him to announce that he was officially cutting ties. Okay. Now, this one I did know about. Uh, I did know this one. T Series becomes the first YouTube channel to hit 100 million subscribers, surpassing PewDiePie. After the drawn-out campaign from T-Series, yep, and then PewDiePie made that uh, video or whatever, but yeah, this sucks. T-Series, yes, is Indian, and Indian is the most populated country in the world, but PewDiePie was there for a long time. Like, he really, I think he brings in a lot of money for, for YouTube, and honestly, I gotta say that... Uh, it really hurts to see that people aren't subscribed and he's not the most subscribed anymore. Progerius exposed himself for his cheating on his wife and selecting new photos from underage fans. I know all about this one. Okay. I did watch Pro Jared and I know this is true. And if anyone asks, first let me read this and then I'll tell you. Gaming YouTube Pro Jared uh, emerged at the center of cheating scandal when he first released a statement with with his wife and cosplayers separated after five years of marriage. O'Farrell and Twitter, okay, cheating on for four months. YouTuber Holly Conrad, PB Lens, divorced from Ross Donovan, blogging on social media, Progeries fan base. O'Farrell and accusation were false, but ended with a close couple while Conrad made her accusations private. O'Farrell continued to the tweet she presented an evidence of her own infidelity, which she refused to admit. Nude post, okay, it came forward online stating. Underage at the time sent nude photos. Again, with the underage nude photos. I'm going to get to this in a second. YouTuber Collective Pro Jared worked with Normal Boots and officially partnered. Here's the thing. If anyone uh, asks, on my phone right now, I can tell you this happened. Really did. I actually st still have a picture of Pro Jared holding his... Uh, his rod with his hand let's say that i still have it is on my phone and i will never delete it and i will always know that pro jared really did something i don't know if he really sent uh to underage people if that's fake but he really did send nude photos to people because i have there is i have one of him that i found on the internet i found one <laughs> Nothing on the internet's gone. Someone will always have something. <laughs> okay, uh, Taddy Westbrook and Jesse Starr caused a major blow up with James Charles that resulted in major subscriber loss in game. James Charles, I, I've heard of, of, I think. Our really biggest YouTube scandal of 2019, Explosive Beauty Community Wars, deeply offended his friend and mentor, Taddy, okay, promoted Sugar Bear, Healthcare vitamins in exchange of Coach Chella tickets. Westbrook responded by scathing Instagram story bombshells. In her bi sister video, uh, Charles also sexual misconduct and forbidden attempting sed to seduce women and wait, seduce men and boys who identify as heterosexual. What? But why? So, uh, that's even worse than I thought. Hold on. Charles initially responded since deleted tearful apology titled Taddy. 
But the situation only escalated with the beauty YouTuber Jeffrey Star, who accused Charles of being a danger to society and threatened to release more information, including at one point alleging Charles attempting to grope his former. <sighs> really? Okay. Charles and you didn't by his side after losing 3 million subscribers. That's a, a, a lot. His version of events allegedly Star miscontract accused Charles of innocent and in all accusations of sexual misconduct. Three Ubers put out the statements following the days apologizing for their roles in isolating the conflict. Westbrook uploaded a since-deleted video in which she said that she regretted inciting strong backlash against Charles. Okay. Since then, all three have returned to their regular posting schedules and content. Really? They've all forgot about this. Charles is simply cutting off her men many of his former friends and the aftermath. It didn't really affect him then. Who cares? He's a bad dude. Um, going after little boys, huh? Was it, it... Was this real? Did this... Like, I know it happened, so it's it's written here. But did it... Were they just trying to get publicity? No, he lost 3 million subscribers. Why? why? Dude, I, I don't know if it's me. I, I've never, like looked at anyone in a way that was remotely similar to any of this like <laughs> I don't I just don't get it I just don't get it why are people so weird why are people so weird nowadays oh here here's the man the myth the legend Jake Paul once again coming back with a vengeance Jake Paul accused of Cody Co of cyberbullying which ultimately to his own determinant and it's not that immediately Jack from Cody Co accused of cyberbullying. They actually did not just fall flat. Fans of Co uh, pointed out that Paul, who had faced scrutiny for controversy of his own, did not have much platform to accuse someone else of cyberbullying. Further, Co actually gained significant subscribers after Paul's video. Paul's video is four million views, but over six hundred dislikes. Wow, that sucks. Uh, Vox Carlos Mazza asked YouTube to uh, uphold its policies after he compiled all the time Stefan Crowder harassed him. Uh, blog journalist. After dinner with my outcry, found that Crowder did not violate. Yeah, I don't really care about this. Whatever. Uh, Kylie Jenner disabled comments on her Kylie skin launch video after getting dragged her. For her walnut scrub product. Kylie Jenner ventured into vlogging. Her YouTube vengeance. And okay. Yeah. Jenner's buzz brand launch cloud of backlash. Her walnut skin product was. With, uh, with skincare. Alfish and always claimed would create micro. Really. <laughs> More harm than good. Dude. I, I never watch vloggers. I. I who has time to watch vloggers? Who has time to look? I appreciate all all of you watching my news, but see, here's the thing: when you watch my news, you get information out of it. When you watch a vlogger, what do you get? What are you watching? Are you gaining information? Are you learning something? Is anyone learning something from these? I've learned something. People are really weird. <laughs> okay, that's what I've learned. Uh, Jacqueline Hill's customer report that her new lipstick line arrived broken with some products, apparently moldy, containing hairs, and exhibiting bizarre textures. Beauty guru. Oh, my God. A, a, a beauty again? Beauty guru Jacqueline Hill found herself in weeks-long controversy surrounding uh, cosmetics. She first announced her makeup line with 20 lipsticks that sold out immediately before products even arrived. Customer complaints about long, logged, okay, uh, of nude, nude lipsticks, okay. Uh, once products, uh, lipstick came damaged or broken, that didn't, you know, not good. Uh, itchiness and rashes, oh. Recent apology. They were not expired or moldy or hazardous, but they weren't satisfied. Okay, so th that just happens. YouTube took down a fake animal rescue videos after Pay Money Wooby uploaded expos of the practice. 
Uh, videos tending to show children rescuing dogs and cats and animals, such as snakes, clearly staged. These videos thus violate the guidelines against animal crudest cruelty. Uh, yeah, that's that's real bad. Don't hurt animals or put animals in that situation. That sucks. Okay. Uh, Claire's recalled JoJo Swan's makeup lines after traces of asbestos found in their products. Dude, bro, how... Is there a lot of beauty YouTubers? Is there a lot of beauty YouTubers that I don't know of? That I don't watch? If if I start watching beauty YouTubers, can I get all hot and sexy? Put some makeup on? See this face? You know what it needs? You know what this needs? It needs some uh, beauty YouTubers, okay? Pump it up, right? Be the macho, macho man. Going to, I'll start going to the YMCA. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Nick, uh, Nick. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Wait. Oh, you hate it when you, you can't sneeze. You get stuck and you can't sneeze. Oh, no. Okay. Nickelodeon star and YouTuber JoJo Swan. Uh, makeup line Claire's found to contain traces of asbestos. That's real bad. Don't do that. Safety of Nickelodeon's number one priority. 13-year-old ASMR YouTuber Life with M Mac addressed whether she was leaving the platform after being discriminated against. What? what why? Uh, child sexualization crisis on the pla Bro. If you look at a child... And you think they're sexy. Please find some help. Okay? It's so bad. You don't know how bad it hurts them. Okay? I, nothing's ever happened to me. But I've heard stories. And I've had cousins tell me terrible th things. I, it's not good. It really hurts them. Just, just get yourself some help. All right, please. You don't want the dawn coming after you. Because I will. And nobody wants that. Anyway, he spoke against for what she considered unfair discriminatory treated by YouTube. The creator uploaded a statement on June 7th that she would have to leave the platform if she was unable to work with a representative of YouTube to keep her videos online. Uh, drama channel, special media, and comments were disabled. Other channel, okay. Resume uploading videos after her statement. Okay, Elijah Dan purchased the town of Hell, Michigan, and renamed it Gay Hell for Pride Month. Are you happy? Are you? Does did this make you happy? Because guess what? Didn't make me happy. I hate this guy. I don't like his face. I don't like the way he looks. Is he ugly? He's probably ugly. Real life. He's probably wearing some terrible, terrible face cream. Man, just look at him. No, I don't really care that he did this. Uh, announced June 7th, he's brought the town of Hell, Michigan, renamed it to Gay Hell to protest President Trump's administration. Vagary against NBC's flying pride flags. What? How are these two correlated? It was, okay, it was against flying pride flags in other countries because, like, Russia and China don't like gay people. They, they're, it's literally banned. This has nothing to do with, they, they don't correlate. What? what are you? Why are you? You, I, I don't know. I just think he's so ugly. <laughs> Although, in fairness, I think a lot of people are ugly. Okay. So, that's just me. All right. I'm just judgmental. Take it with, with a grain of salt, okay? I deduced the stunt was slightly overstated in an original post. YouTuber actually only rented the town. Changed temporarily 
In a previous Hell, Michigan ploy, Daniel became mayor for a day, only to have the privileges revoked when he attempted to ban straight people from the town. Ooh, not only did you lie, you also attempted to ban straight people. Look, I didn't have a problem with this until you wanted to ban straight people. And now, I really don't like you. I really, really hate you. <laughs> God, he's ugly. Jeez. Uh, Jake Paul proposed to Tina Mongu on her 21st birthday, but plenty of fans think it's a promotion or something. Jake Paul, what are you doing? Uh, Tina Mongu heavily promoted for her 21st birthday. She will be chronologically on MTV's YouTube series. No filter. Okay. Uh, her proposed Jake Paul go down on the that was just uh, whether engagement is real or not. Either way, Paul stuck to the script. Uh, confirming repeatedly on social media the engagement is genuine. Fans will have to wait and see. Okay. Uh, I'm not going over this. This is horrifying. Uh, I do know about that already. We're not going to talk about that. All right. Is this the last one? Yeah. A transgender YouTuber accused a Team 10 editor of making transphobic comments towards her and kicking her out of a Team 10 house. YouTuber Lila Gibney uh, told the insider that she and another transgender female friend were kicked out of Jake Paul's Team 10 house. To Jake... What is Jake Paul? Why do you keep doing this? Also, I'm going to side with Jake Paul uh, almost all the time because he's the high -o. And Hayo got to be representing each other, okay? I'm sorry. Jake Paul might be a terrible person. I do like Logan more. <laughs> but I still have to go with the Paul brothers. My, my name's Paul. That That's my real, that's my first name. Paul. Shortens down to Paul. And I'm from Ohio. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to support the Paul brothers. Just what has to happen. Um, he told the twos. He told the two they weren't real girls. After uploading the same sort of line, the incident team ten's manager threatened Gibney with legal action if she didn't remove the video and the issue statement, uh, absolving team ten. Since then, team ten issued a statement announcing full internal investigation into the matter. Probably went nowhere and did nothing. Um, at the same time, um, am I surprised Jake Paul said that? No, he's from Ohio, and that's kind of what Ohio is known for. But, uh, yeah, so those are the controversies of 2019. I have one more uh, article for the next video, but uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, you don't have to like the video. I appreciate it if you like the video. You don't have to. But I would like uh, people to subscribe, please. It really uh, helps me out with motivation. Um even on I'm going I'm on vacation right now when this uploads and uh I was still making these before I go because I want a video to come up every day while I'm gone. So uh please help me out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow.